the Focusrite Sapphire range. The only interfaces with Focusrite Pre's. Focusrite, the interface company. We're here at the AS show in New York, Saturday morning, and Ollie on the Focusrite booth is going to tell us about the latest incarnation of Octopre, which I believe is rationally entitled Octopre 2. Octopre Mark 2, yes. So, previous Octopre was obviously an eight channel Focusrite preamp, and lo and behold, we have an eight channel Focusrite preamp, uh, eight analog outputs. Um, what we've done this time is we've included the digital output as standards, whereas before it was an option. So. On the Octopre, we have two ADA outputs, so that means you can either have eight channels copied on the second one at 44 or 48, or 96K or 88K. Um, we've designed it specifically to look a lot like the Sapphire Pro 40. Mm -hmm. um, so a Pro 40 system can be expanded, and you've got a system with matched preamps, um, which will line up quite nicely on a rack as well, so you've got your metering on top of your other metering. Um, work clock output of course um, and this has pads on all inputs so if you're drum recording this is a very useful feature to make sure you're not overloading your, your preamps from playing your drums too loud um, in addition sapphire pro 40 and in fact the entire of the new sapphire pro range has now got standalone mode mm -hmm. so this could be used as a standalone eight channel preamp as well um, the benefit of this one is that you have the option of setting it all up in your mixing software so whatever mix you need in your mix software, set it up, save the hardware, extract it. So you can use it as a mixer, as an eight in eight out box, as a patch bay, if you will. Um, so this is a very useful feature for a, you know, existing Pro 40 owners. That sounds like a comprehensive system. So what mic pre's are used within the, uh, the Mark II here? These are the same preamps that we've had running throughout the Sapphire range. Um, so from the original white tabletop Sapphire, um, yeah, it's a tried and tested preamp, everyone seems to like the sound of it, we're using it again. Um, it's specifically good the fact that a, a Pro 40 user can expand it and have the preamps that sound exactly the same to what he's got already. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. And shipping? Shipping very soon, <laughs> priced at about 329 in the US it will be 499 That's great, thanks again Ollie. Thank you, cheers.